is Yvette Carnell from yourblackworld.net and breakingbrown.com. I am here now with um, uh, Benjamin Dixon, and we have something new to discuss. There are allegations that Sean King of the Black Lives Matter movement, everybody remembers Sean. Sean's been around for a long time. He's done some, in, in addition to being an activist, he's done some very good things for, um, in, in terms of investigations, in terms of Michael Brown. I mean, in terms of, uh, I remember when, um, when, when Tamir, when Tamir Rice, uh, his family, his, you remember his, his, his mother moved across, to, said she couldn't live there anymore. And then there were reports that she was homeless and he had collected a bunch of money, you know, for them. Uh, but now there are allegations that King is actually not black. He, he went to Morehouse apparently on a, on an Oprah scholarship for black men. But there was a, a, a Breitbart article and then a follow-up article from the, the from the Daily Mail, um, and we should we should put out there right now the Breitbart article is a, basically the Breitbart is basically a, a right-wing rag, and, and and the Daily Mail is basically kind of a a, a, gops, a gossip um, magazine. Uh, but they are both publishing the story that Sean King has two white parents, and uh, following the, the the Rachel Dolezal, you know. Um, <laughs> revelations this is this is this is worrisome to a lot of people and i i just want to ask ben ben you checked out his twitter feed yeah you checked out sean king's twitter feed what 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 did he say in in regards to the allegation that he is a white man so he said a lot of stuff and he didn't answer the question so i mean you can make your own speculations first let me say i you know what even personally to me i don't care whether sean uh -huh is black or white uh he's done he's doing and done a lot of good work the yeah. you know what the only caveat to that is i do care if people just lie or mislead us right so there's absolutely no reason if sean is white so be it there, there's yeah. there's a lot of white people who are are intricate in the movement um throughout history so it's not as though if you're a white person you can't be um helpful to the black cause so just want to put that out there first but as i was reading his timeline um um, he said a lot of things about his family, a lot of things about um, uh, how messy his family um, is in the sense that um, all of his brothers and sisters have different parents and he has uh, he has siblings that are not even blood related to them, but uh, related by virtue of a father that, you know, all these other things, all, all kind of things that he stated. Um, and then he outlined the uh, different things that were wrong with the article. A lot of the uh, half truths are just outright lies that Breitbart was putting out on him. So, but then at the end of the day, um, he never answered the question of whether he was black or white. And I think, um, uh, you know, I think that's just going to leave uh, a lot of questions. People are still going to ask if you're not telling us, then, you know, we have to assume and you know what happens when people start assuming. Yeah, I mean, there, there are really two basic questions, right? There are, you know, a friend, you know, I was talking to Pascal about this, a friend of mine, and there are really two basic questions. The, the, the first question is, is the woman in the picture your mother? And the second question is, is the man in the, who, who's pictured in the article, the white man who's pictured in the article, is he your father? Those are the only two questions that need to be, that need to be asked or answered. You know, it, there is no, there, you know, and, and I agree with you, there, you don't have to be, have, you don't have to have two black parents or one black parent to be involved in, in the rights for, of, of black people because black people are human people. So it's not like you have to, you know, you have to be a black person to be involved in this, in, in this struggle. So. I, I, I don't understand if he lied and I don't know that he did, you know, maybe he's just kind of flustered and didn't get around to it. But if he did, I, I don't understand why, you well, know, because they showed a picture of him from all the way back in high school and he looked, Sean King looked like a short haired, little light skinned, light skinned black dude, like, like me, but like a, you know, a, a, a black dude. So I, I don't understand why he would tell a half truth and I don't understand why he won't just answer that question. Or is the guy on the picture, your father, you, if you said your father was black, is this your father? If it's not your father, that's, that that clears up everything. Right, right. That that's what blows me away is that you know it's like with Rachel Dolezal and 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 uh, potentially with Sean, people aren't lying about little things anymore. <laughs> you know they're lying. <laughs> 
They're lying about big things that you could easily check out. Uh, you could track down someone's birth certificate. You can get pictures from them uh, of their family when they were younger. You know, if it turns out to be true that Sean is white, I've got no problem with the activism part of it, right? I have a big problem with the just blatant mis, um, misdirection or half truth or, or not just being, uh, um, you know, giving us the impression that you are black. You don't have to give us the impression that you are black for us to accept your activism. I mean, I, and I keep going back to the same example. Tim Wise is one of the most prolific speakers about white supremacy in the United States of America, and he's just as white as he wants to be. So it's like, you know, if you're going to lie about something, don't lie about something that can obviously be exposed and cause you all this kind of grief down the road. And not only you personally, but it's it's a indirect attack against Black Lives Matter. What they're trying to say, they're trying to uh, delegitimize Black Lives Matter and say that not only was it founded by white people, which, which it wasn't, you know, it was founded by three black women, um, but they're trying to credit it to Sean King and say that he's white. So now Black Lives Matter can't be something legitimate because it's uh, started by white people. And then two, it's funded by white people. You know, the George Soros story that, uh, you know, they're trying to delegitimize everything that Black Lives Matter is trying to do. So we're not we're not blind to what the right wing conservative machine, because that's what Breitbart is. This was a right wing hit job. We know exactly what they're going, what they're trying to do. And we're not going to allow them to delegitimize Black Lives Matter by virtue of attacking Sean King. But at the same time, Sean, you know, just tell us the truth and let's move on about it. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, the, that's, the, well, that's the whole thing for me, you know, and, and you know, I didn't check his, I didn't check his Twitter feed. You know, I talked to you because you were like, I'm checking the Twitter feed right now. My whole, my whole thing is don't, there's no need to go into this sort of convoluted discussion right. of what happened with your family. Is this man your father? Is this woman your mother? And so once you start going into all those, those, those additional things, it, 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 it really, it really takes me to a space to say, okay, let me pause. Okay, Vet, let's pause because this is a very simple, simple question. Like if, if you, if you come at me and say, Vet, you're, you're, you're really light skinned. Are you, are you a white person? We found out you're a white person. I'll be like, no, I'm not white. Like I have, I have, you know, I have two, you know, fair skinned black parents. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into the lineage of my family. I'm not going to go into how everything's messy and, you know, you know, race is complicated. And, and it is so disturbing because everything I've seen of Sean King says that he is a genuine you know, I mean, activists. I, I I read about Sean King in in Atlanta. That was the first time I heard about him. It wasn't you know after the Black Lives. I heard about him a long time before Black Lives Matter in terms of what he was doing in the community. So, it, it, I don't understand this this need, and I and I think it goes well. I don't I don't think this was something. If this is true, like we we're just speculating, we're just talking about this as two people, right? Mm -hmm. But if this is true, I don't think this is something that he did necessarily to deceive. Because when you look at the picture of him. As a young kid, he looks the same. He, it's the same thing, you know. Short hair. He's got like it looks like he has a little part right there, like the styles that you know the black yeah. guys wore as kids. So I, I I wonder, like you can tell me, hey, I was I was told by my father or someone else that my father was black and that he wasn't my real father, or or there was a rumor or whatever, or you know my hair texture. So I've come to believe, like that's fine. Explain whatever whatever it is, but you know don't take us down this road of, you know, of, of saying every, of answering every question except the question that was asked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's important that, um, you know, it, 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 we have a tendency to, um, close ranks, everybody, not just us as black people, but everybody, when someone that you are fond of, somebody that you believe in, or someone who's a leader in your camp, ostensibly, when they come under attack, we have a tendency to close ranks and kind of buffer any type of question. And uh, we, I think we have to be careful not to do that so much that we do, that we allow, um, I, I don't have a better word right now other than transgressions. You know, if if he if it was intentional, then we need to talk about it. If it was unintentional, then just clear it up and let's move on. But we don't need to be so defensive of um, of, of people attacking us from the outside that we don't look internally and say, OK, there's some things that we need to discuss. We need to talk about um, why it is that you misled us or what about this particular message where you were, you know, they, they even shared a tweet where he was um, acting as though he was um, in he was being uh, racially profiled in the moment because he was black um, and all these things, you know, let's just let's clear the air. But then at the same time, um, as soon as we clear, clear the air, we need to turn our guns back 
on the people who are doing this and the goal that they're trying to they're they're really trying to affect the broader movement of black lives matter and uh and, and not just black lives matter but because not everyone who's black identifies with black lives matter but just um just anything that's going to be beneficial to the black movement in general black liberation bringing down white supremacy they're doing everything they can to stop it and this is just one tool in it trying to put a stain on it now i understand that's what they're trying to do and so we need to defend against that. But then likewise, come on, Sean, just tell us what it is. And we're we're all adults. We can move on from here. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of floored. Like, like we, we live in the information age, right? So, you, you know, there's really nothing that you can do exactly. to, 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 I mean, this is the NSA age as well. This is the age of you know, spying and, 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 and AT&T collecting your data on behalf of or, or, or spying on you on behalf of, you know, of, of the state. Uh, so there's really nothing that you can do to hide anymore. No. You know what I mean? There's, 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 there's nothing that you can do to kind of, you know, to kind of be like, well, you know, if I don't tell them this, this X, Y, and Z, it doesn't matter, you know, or that they'll never find out. And so you have to just come clean. You can't. You can't say. You know, when I when I looked at the tweet, he said something to the effect of, "This means I'm going to go even harder against you know police brutality." That you no. You know, you can do that. You can definitely do that. But you have to address the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room right now is who are you? And right. everybody wants to know because you know, like you received an Oprah scholarship that's designated for black men. If 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 if, if you are not, you know, uh, uh, if you have two white parents, I can see how people. Can take issue with that. I can see how people who didn't, who who didn't get into, who got into Morehouse but did not, were not able to pay for school, mm -hmm. you know, uh, would take issue for that. With that, so you know, I, I I don't know what the truth is in this scenario, but I would just encourage uh, Sean King to just 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 be very open and honest. It could be the case maybe you thought your daddy was black at the time, and then you found out he wasn't. But that's the identity that you kind of went with. Whatever it is, just just. I, I need you to tell the truth. It also could be the case that he is black and they're just, yeah. you know, f private family issues that they don't want to explore. Because I, I'm looking at his picture as I'm reading his tweets and I'm like, this, he, you know, I don't care how fair skinned he is. He has very distinct features to me that says that he's got some, some brother in his blood. You know, there's something in, you know, even well, the, if, hair, the hair to me was like the thing when I was, even when I was looking at the close crop, I was like, I was like, that looks like. That looks like kinky hair. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, and you're gonna have to come clean. Like, if there's some family issue where maybe your daddy don't know that he's not the daddy, you know what I mean? You you uh -huh. you don't know. I mean, you you never know what goes on. But at this point, like you have to you have to come clean. At this point, you have to say, This is what it is. I'm coming clean about everything. And that's the uh that's the price, unfortunately. That's the price of public of a pub public persona. You know, once you become once you become a public persona, you um you're 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 not there for public consumption. I know a lot of people like to say that line. I'm not there for the public consumption, but in a certain sense, you 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 are because you benefit from the amount of people who pop follow you, who pay attention to you, who read your articles, and so you do have a responsibility to the public to discuss things that you otherwise could keep private if you had a private life. But now that you have this public life, you're responsible for everything that you do. You you have to be held accountable to the people who support you and if the people who all support you say you know what sean we don't care then so what that's 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 what it is mm -hmm. but right now for indications it's like people are like just answer the question you still didn't answer the question are you black are you white and i think i think it could just go away very quickly if he just answers it even if he doesn't know it's a very it's a high possibility that he's not even sure about his 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 racial composure you know he may not know all of the he can he may just know what he was taught growing up and that may not even be the case. There's so many possibilities with it. Yeah. Uh, unless he answers it, people are going to always speculate. And and yeah, I, I, mean, I hate that it's even a, a thing, but it is. You know. Well, it, it, you just got to be honest. Like you, if, if you, if you, if you said your dad was like, just come out and be and be like, you know, I didn't want to come out like this, but you know, you know, my dad is listed as white, but I was always told that my dad was black. When I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, yeah, that's right. I agree with that. I have the, I have the hair. I have the, I, yeah, I have the little hue. I, I'm. Uh, I am, you know, that's who I am. And there's nothing, I mean, th th there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing embarrassed about that. John right. King is not and will not be the last person to have messy family matters in terms of, you know, it, 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 of, of what your, what your, what your parent is or what, or, or the right, he will, he won't be the last one. Everybody has that. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a level of sameness there. So, 
I mean, I just, I just, I just, I just want him to just, just clear it up. You know, just, just people want to know you're an important person of the movement. Just clear it up and let's walk away. You know what else? I, I want anyone else to take note of the reality that once you, and you can hear my kids in the background, right? Daddy. Nick. <laughs> um, but once you take on a public persona, you must be forthcoming with things that are private, that, that, that could potentially be troublesome to your public persona. You know, if there's something you cannot hide, you can't hide as a private citizen, you know, and not to go on a different topic, but they just released 30 million emails of people associated with Ashley Madison, the cheating website. And I'm like, you got, you have to be smarter today than to get away with things. There are 30 million people getting ready to have some serious conversations with their spouses. And so, you know, if they can, if hackers can at a drop of a dime, get that type of information, then surely people can find out where you were born, who you were born to and get pictures of you with your parents and, and, and kind of expose that kind of thing. So I would just advise anyone who is active and trying to be more active that just be forthcoming with all your stuff. And I'm sitting back thinking, what do I have to, you know, I, you know, what do I need to confess? Is there something that I haven't been forthcoming with? But thankfully, no, nobody even knows who I am enough to, to even carry that. Listen, I'm just going to put a picture of my family up on Breaking Brown, my hey. mom and dad. <laughs> so, so the people don't come sneaking around talking about, oh my God. I mean, it's just, I mean, and it's kind of silly. Like, I feel like the only thing that bothers me about this is, is the fact that, is the fact that, the fact that people want to know whether or not they've been deceived. I don't have any other problem. You know, I don't have any other problem. Like, like we said earlier with, with race and we all know that race is a kind of a social construct and all that goes with it, but it has been employed or deployed is a better word by the powers that be by the elite to maintain a certain hierarchy. So we all know that. So nobody's, nobody's trying to hold anybody to some kind of one drop rule. Nobody's saying you have to be this way or you have to look this way or you have to act this way or you're not black enough. Nobody's doing that. Everybody's saying that, you know, if you're, but just only thing I'm saying is that if you're, if you are a central, you know, part of the black lives matter movement it's understandable that people kind of want to know whether you're black or not. It, it doesn't make you any less of a person if you are, or if you aren't, it doesn't make you any less of an activist. Nobody is diminishing what you've done thus far. But I think, you know, honesty is the best policy. Yeah. That's that's just kind of my thought. Absolutely. I agree with you 100 percent there. Honesty. And 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 I'll you know, I, I will figure out there's something I need to confess and I'll be sure to confess it on. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got a lot to confess. I'm just going to delete my emails. <laughs> Well, I, I know one thing. I I'm not worried about the Ashley Madison situation. That's one thing. Not <laughs> you asked me how many times I dropped out of school. Then that's a different conversation. But anyway, I digress. Um, but, but, but once again, this is this is Yvette Carnell, and this is a uh, Benjamin Dixon BreakingBrown.com, YourBlackWorld.net, the Benjamin Dixon Show. Um, is that dot com, Benjamin? Dot com. <laughs> Well, and, and check us out. And we, I really want to, you know, I, I don't check out the comment section very often, but I'm going to go check out the comment sections for this because I really want to know what people think. I really want to know what people have to say. So um, we'll just leave, we'll just leave it there. Thanks. Thanks guys.